<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's a little dusty and dirty. It might be windy on the way. I'll cover it up. All right, we ready? Yeah. Actually, me and both of them both had the same vacation at the same time. We're down in Myrtle, having a good old time. We decided we'd get together one night before we actually left. Um, Sean got his first find. We've only found well, maybe three or four things my, so far. My third find. His third find, but first Alum good find. Aluminum can, foil ball, and this. The typical stuff at the beach. Uh, let me flip you around so you can see it. Wow, look at that mug. <laughs> look at that mug. Uh, we actually, he actually got a, an earring. And it says 925 at the uh, inside there, right there, you can see it. Uh, right there, you can see 925. Beautiful, first piece of uh, good jewelry. Heck yeah. This is what we were hoping for when we came down here. And we actually did it. I didn't think we would, but. I didn't think either. Yeah, it's awesome, man. So we're gonna keep on going and hopefully find some great stuff. Hopefully. And hopefully the wind's not too much for you. All right, yeah, see ya. Okay. All right, so it's second find for him, or Ready? decent find. Ready? I don't know what it is yet. Go ahead. <gasps> Shut the heck up. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's right there. No way. Oh, it's only Sterling. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can get a marking on this and I'll get right back at you. Dude. <laughs> Let me see, wait. Let me see if I can find a marking on this. I'll get right back at you. Guys, so we did get a marking on it. It has 925 right there. Uh, man, does that look pretty though. You can, look how, look at the shine on that. This is absolutely amazing. It's getting dark, but we're gonna keep on going. Nice job, Sean. Thanks, buddy. Two pieces of jewelry for you. I got bottle caps. I literally have a back, my whole back pocket's full of bottle caps. I think they're probably Cuban or Siconians, but they're still beautiful and it's a nice ring and I put that on my shelf. Well, I'll tell you what, it's windy out here. Um, I'm hoping to hide some of the wind here for you, but, and if not, you know, this video is not going to be very well. But I did find my first find. I don't know if it's silver or not. It has some weight to it. Uh, but, you know, I'm down in the lower part. I do have to say, I have to give credit to all those people that do beach hunting. You guys are amazing because this is hard, some, some hard stuff to do. So, all right, guys, I uh, hope to find some more stuff and. Keep on going. See ya. All right, Sean got something pretty awesome. You weren't filming? Uh, well, I hit the button off. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't Sean have my phone, so awesome. I couldn't film it because I don't have a phone with me. I only have one pocket. I'm trying to keep his uh, headlight out of it yeah. so it doesn't look like weirdness. Uh, this is this is Easton, our best friend, right, Easton? Yes. Yeah. Look at this awesome bus. He said it was like 18 inches deep. <laughs> it's a big old school bus. Big wheels. It didn't do well in the sand, it just kind of sunk. Yep. So, those poor kids are all all inside there, screaming. They're buried under the sand for who They're trying problem. to get out, poor guys. All right, well, it's Easton's. Right. Sean, I found something. I see that. I found something, guys. It was reading a 13 on mine. It was real scratchy, but I got an earring. Uh, It could be gold. If it is gold, That'll be a first for me. That's a pretty one, too. Uh, let me get it cleaned up and see if I can get any markings on there. And boy, oh boy, I might have my first golden ever. I so hope. that'd be awesome. You found an earring. I got an earring. I don't have any gold yet. Yeah, but we still both. We're finding stuff. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a genuine diamond. Uh, I doubt that, but we'll see. All right, let's get back at you. All right, guys. I, I almost positive that it's gold. Uh, I didn't get any markings on it. It's a little worn at the... Uh, I think it would be on the stem. It's hard to see out here. If it is gold, I will let you guys know, but it's a pretty piece and I'm happy to find it. I thought it was gonna be a, a bottle cap. So, you know, I'm happy with that. I've been finding bottle caps the whole time. So not too shabby. Yeah. All right, we'll get back at you. With the oh, jewelry and pendants and, and everything else. Oh, this might be a religious metal. Oh, it definitely is, huh? I bet you it's silver too. Is it heavy? 
Yeah, heavier than aluminum. Let's see. Is it a hockey oh, yeah. player? Oh, uh, it's a hockey player on the back. Is it uh, silver, you think? Wait, I'll tell you. What's it yep, silver? it says sterling. Yes. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No? I have no idea what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it has something right there. I can't read it. Something above the hockey stick. Right above the hockey stick. A double eight, double, Stir what is it, H-E double hockey sticks? How about you say stir dash link? Maybe stir dash link, maybe. All right, let me, uh, let me get the, let me get a good look at this. I'll let you know. That's three pieces of jewelry for him, and I only got one, but he's holding my glasses because that's the only way I can see really close. <laughs> uh, it is sterling. It seems like the ST is off of it, but it's ER. L-I-N-G right there. It's like some type of religious medal for an athlete. Uh, is it Christopher? Sebastian, patron of athletes. That's actually kind of cool. Protect us. Saint Sebastian. So it's like Great a, job. It's sterling. You get the market on the list. Sports. Yeah. Protective. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. That's nice, dude. Great job. What was it ringing up? 83, 84, I think. Oh, man. On the AT Pro. Yep. Way to go, dude. Thanks. We're actually doing pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> Way better than I thought we would at the beach, so keep on going. Adam, what do you think? It's been a good night. It's been a good night. He's been our uh, our toll carrier. He was supposed to bring his detector and he didn't. So uh, we'll get him in a future we'll get him in a future uh, episode here. So Alright, let's keep on going. Alright, so we're at the beach here. And up this way, or like we we're towards the center. And then I'm like, ah, you know what? I found this earring, gold earring. Well, I, I'm almost positive it's gold up towards closer to this edge. So I'm going to go up this way. No sooner did I say that, I got a, a signal and I think it's a ring. I covered it up because I wanted Sean to hear it before he saw it. Oh, no, it might be a, might be an earring. And it might be junk. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Uh, I think it's junk. It was reading that 13, 14 number. I was like, oh man, is that going to be gold? It's too light. I think it's fake. Ah, darn it. Feel it. You were excited. I saw the I was, dude. Yeah, it feels way too it's light. It's really light. I think it's aluminum. Ah, whatever. Keep on going. Hopefully we can find the gold. <laughs> Alright, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Me and Relic Hunters, and I am on something I'm very unfamiliar with, the beach. Myrtle Beach to be exact. We are here out in front of our hotel and Rich and Sean were here last week. And uh, anyways, low tide. I got some, a lot of seashells here. I was down here working. I did find a couple things but no jewelry or anything. So uh, first find is, of significance is this. Now it looks like a little lead ring, but it is gone. It's something else. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what it is. Now, it looks like a little red lead ring, but it actually has somebody's name on it. This is, used to belong to Samantha. S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A. -A -A. I'm assuming it went on a bracelet or, or something like that, but uh, yeah. Just working this these seashells on down through. You can see where I'm dragging my shovel. Kind of grid searching a little bit. And... Uh, let me show you what else I got here. I got a screw. And what else did I find? Something else in here. Oh, here it is. I'm not sure what that would have been. Almost looks like a uh, it almost looks like a uh, pellet to a gun. Which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah. But I'm gonna keep working these seashells and hopefully we find something good. The family's here somewhere. Out there, they're digging. Oh, right there, digging, so. Very cool, beautiful place. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, I got a signal here. Um, this was a 14, I haven't dug it up yet. I just turned it over and listened to it. It's out of the hole, it sounded small. See what it is. Oh, 
don't think it's in the shell. It is, it's in the shell. The heck is it? Fell out of the shell. Come on, come on. Probably an earring back or something. There it is. I don't know what this is. Some junk metal, I guess. Oh, shoot. That looks gold. Maybe gold plated at one point. See that? That's interesting. I don't know what that would have been. Definitely looks like it might have been plated at one point. Maybe a an old clasp. Maybe pirate treasure. Maybe pirate treasure. Yeah, right, right. All right, let's keep going. Kind of cool. It's heavy. It's heavy enough to be gold. Pretty cool. Huh. All right, guys. Do you have any ideas what that is? Let me know. All right, guys. I got a signal here. Nice repeating 14 in the shells. Sounds good. Live beach dig. Oh, it's out of the hole. What is it at? What is it? What is it? Look oh, right there. Oh boy. That would be an old, old lead sinker. Cool. Well, that's really took a beat in this, these shells. Uh, water line usually goes up to there. It's way out right now. So, we're gonna keep going here. Awesome. All right, guys, got another uh, decent signal here. Pulled right out of the shells and we got, look at that. Somebody was vaping some uh, ganja. Uh, I think that's what you call it. Some uh, Blue Moon, Whisper Creek. I don't know. I've not seen it at all. But, but anyway, that's cool. Put it in the pouch. Hopefully I don't get uh, pulled over by a beach cop and get arrested for contraband. Cool. All right. Let's keep going here. Working these shells, uh, tides out. So yeah, just working these shells. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I found something on the beach here that uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought it had a little shimmer of gold. Actually, you guys remember because I actually dug it. He's got it there. Go ahead and tell me what you think it is. That is a dental gold. Dental gold. Dental gold. So he was saying that somebody come out here to uh, dump the ashes of the loved one. And when they did, the gold, of course, ended up on the beach. That's dental gold. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be keeping this. It's going to go to the sea back where uh, they went their day. <laughs> that's, <pretty cool. laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah? Hey, there we go. Wow. All right. Doug got something about this ring. Got a nice tungsten ring. That's very cool. Thank you. What'd that ring up? It would ring up a 17. 17. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Nothing, nothing over here. Two points and pull tabs. Points and pull tabs. That was a 7, not a 17. A 7? A 7, yeah. Oh, wow. Another piece of junk is a 7. I found one in a river one time. My, my father-in-law lost a wedding band a long time ago, and I gave it to him. He's been worried ever since. So, I always repurpose it. All right, guys. All right, guys.
guys, uh, Rich and uh, Sean were here last week and uh, they had a good hunt and it looks like I'm going to have a really good hunt today too. I just found a cell phone. Uh, I think this thing's going to work. It looks like it wasn't in the water, uh, water very long. Uh, when I hit the, let me turn you around. All right, when I hit the power button, I don't know if you can see that, right there, the charge light comes on. So I think it's just dead. This thing should be waterproof. It's an iPhone, probably 13. Uh, so pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm going to keep going here. I met a couple of detectors the other day. And uh, yeah, they found some rings and stuff, as you've seen earlier. But, all right, man, I'm going to keep going here. Pretty cool. They actually told me that there was a cell phone that they had lost, uh, somebody had lost up this way. So maybe this is it. So uh, I'll message them guys and see what they say. All right. All right we're going to go hand drop uh, my wife here. Give her the cell phone. Can't give her a ring, but the cell phone will do. Let's see how she reacts. I'm going to go uh, hand drop that thing. Mom, look what I found. You ready? One, two. You found a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> found a cell phone. Isn't that an iPhone 14? Wow, it's broke. No, it's not. I'm no, give it here. No, give it here. <laughs> That's why you never give your stuff to kids. Anyways, that's all right. She can hold it. What do you think? It works. All right. I'm gonna give you something else. You ready? Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, uh, me and Noah just plugged the phone in. We're gonna go check to see if it is coming on. And uh, we'll try to get a number off it to see if we can, uh, see if we can call the owner and get the phone back to him. So come on. It's on, oh my God, aw. So there's a nice couple there. I don't, don't know if I want to show you their face, but let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to, to find the number. Um, do I put the code in or do I hit emergency? Um, let's try putting a code in. Most common ones, 2468? All right, come here now. Let's see if we can figure this out. Let's try 2468. That's not it. Let's try up one, two, three, that. four. Um, let's try emergency. No. Hmm. Can you use one of their numbers and then call them? See if it's one of their friends? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's get a pencil and paper and we'll write this number down. Hello. Hi, my name is uh, Jerry. I found a cell phone on the beach and I was trying to get a hold of the owner. Awesome. That is so cool. Is it your phone? Yes. Found a cell phone on the beach trying to get a hold of the owner. Actually, I found, I found it in the water. I was metal detecting. <laughs> that is, it's a metal detector guy. That is so cool. We thought the ocean took it forever. Well, it, it almost did. It was almost out past where uh, I was able to reach. So, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, wow. are you guys still at Myrtle Beach? or? I have no idea. Yes, we are still at Myrtle Beach. Yeah, he found it in the water. Wow. We are so happy. Yeah. Well, we're still in Myrtle Beach. We are at Ripley's Aquarium currently. Well, where can we get meet you? <laughs> okay, well, what I can do is... Um, I can meet you somewhere in a little bit. My my family's still swimming down at the pool, and uh, you know I'm I'm obviously going to give it back to you. So uh, I'd hate for you to leave Ripley's Aquarium and come get it right now. So we can meet up in a little bit. Okay, yeah, that sounds perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Your phone's charged. I have it on charge, so it'll be charged for you when when we uh, give it back to you a little later. Okay. Sure. Where you guys are? Yeah, that sounds okay, great. great. All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome so much. Yep. Bye. 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 Yeah, boy. Cool. All right. <laughs>